Bande Mataram. Today we are going to start our new lesson tense, time and tense. First of all, we have to know that what tense is. T E N S E tense. T E tense refers to time and S E for sense. Tense has two terms, time and sense. The two words time and sense make the word tense. What are the two words that make the make tense? Time and sense. Time and sense make the word sense. And it tells us about the time and sense in a sentence. What is tense? What does it tell? It tells tense tells us in a sentence. Tense tells us about time and sense. What time the sentence is and what type of sense? What is sentence? A sentence is a word or a group of words that gives us complete meaning. If no sense is found in sentence, that is not a sentence. So that tense has, tense indicates or refers to time and sense. It tells us about time and sense in a sentence. What is time? We have to know. Times, time, year, time, maybe year, maybe month, maybe day, maybe an hour. Here we can notice that time has a flow. We know the flow of time is continuous, unending. So time may be a year, a month, a day, an hour. Then times are two, three times present time, past time, and future time. There are three times in English. But tense, tenses are only two types present tense and past tense. There is no future tense in English. There is no future tense in English. So that we are in the now position. We are here now. Now is present. Before now, that is, before now, that is, past and after now, that is, present. What is tense? Tense is a verb form. Tense is a verb form. Suppose I write here, suppose I write here, he is playing. do may write has danced have thrown are going these are the verb form complete verb auxiliary verb main verb Modals verb, modal auxiliary, main verb. Modal auxiliary, main verb. Auxiliary verb, main verb. So, in the verb group, in the verb group, is has tense. Present tense. Playing has no tense. So, verbs and verb are two types. First one is finite verb. Second one is non-finite verb. Non-finite verb. What is finite? Finite means that indicates the tense form. The, in the VG, in the verb group, the verb that indicates the tense form is known as a finite verb. Where is has tense. So that is is finite verb. Sell, do. Sell has finite verb. Do, non-finite verb. Sell has tense form. May has tense form. We can change if we change the tense form. If we change the tense form, that means we can write may, might, might write. We cannot write may, wrote. So that write has no tense form. May has first verb has in a VG verb group, first verb has tense form. So that, what is tense? 
टेंस इज जस्ट ए भर्ब फर्म टेंस इज जस्ट ए भर्ब फर्म वी कैन फाइंड वी कैन नोटिस द टेंस ऑफ द सेंटेंस लुकिंग एट द फर्स्ट भर्ब ऑफ ए भिजी भर्ब ग्रुप सो व्हाट इज व्हाट डू टेंस एक्सप्रेस टेंस एक्सप्रेस द टाइम व्हाट इज द रोल ऑफ टेंस इन ए सेंटेंस व्हाट इज द रोल ऑफ टेंस इन ए सेंटेंस टेंस एक्सप्रेसेस द टाइम इन ए सेंटेंस सो दैट गो ईट बी हैव do sleep check these are the tense forms so we are here not we have here noticed about what time is what tense is then how many aspects are there there are four aspects simple present present progressive present perfect present perfect progressive for past you can say past simple past progressive past perfect past perfect progressive then we have we have to notice and about the suppose i i will write i am a student there are so many sentences then we have done the homework we have done the homework third one they will so they will so the they will so the problem fourth one he will help me fifth one she hard from the bird these are five sentences for you we have to notice the time and tense of the given sentences so first i am am is here in the vg verb group there are single verb that is am no main verb is here so that am is your main verb if there is no main verb or any auxiliary verbs are there that means am is the main auxiliary verb is the main verb i am a student am has present tense we can time time and tense of a sentence first one present tense present time we have done have done the work is completed in the second sentence have has tense done has no tense form so have is final form have is final form non finite have non finite done we have done the homework so that have has finite verb have has tense form so has the verb has tense is the tense form of have is present tense because in past we can write had done no tense form non finite but time is we have done the homework the homework is already completed that is the past tense so its tense form is if we see the word have that means we can know that have as present tense and if we look at the sentence that means we have know that that is past tense present tense past time second one present tense then past time how can we know past time we have done the work is completed the homework is completed so the past time present tense they will so they problem will so they will so they will so they problem if we see the verb group will so will has tense form will is finite here 
will is finite here. So is non-finite. So is not finite. The verb which has tense form is finite, which has no tense form that is non-finite. So that we are here to notice that will is present tense. Will is present tense. In the third one, will is present tense. And will so the problem. The problem will be so. So that future time. Because that is after now, not now. So will so they will so their problem. Will has present tense. Past tense will present tense would past tense. So will has present tense. Would has would has past tense. So they will so the problem. Then he will help me. Will help is your busy. Then will will has present tense. They will help me future time. Then she had thrown. Had thrown is your verb. Then hard is your auxiliary verb, helping verb. Throne is main verb. Hard is finite verb. Hard is finite verb. Throne is non-finite verb. First verb of the verb group is known as finite verb. That carries only tenses. Say so other verbs has no tense form, so that they are the non-finite verbs. So that they have thrown. Hard past tense. They have thrown. That is the past moment. Past tense. Past time. Now there are some examples after understanding the what time is, what tense is, what is the difference between time and tense. There are some examples. We have noticed that what is tense? Tense is a tense is a verb form. Verb form. What are verb forms? Be verb plus ing be ing have verb plus be three. Just like that, the verb forms. So, what is tense? Tense is a verb form. We can notice that what time is. First, in first example, Mira did not do her homework. We have to underline the verb. Mira did not do her homework. We are going on a picnic tomorrow. Are going is verb. There will be a lot of fun. Will be. Next, tomorrow is Sunday. He has finished his work. Has finished. We are. We have boxed here the verb. We always obey our teachers. Dinner will arrive. Will arrive is our verb. Our teacher had permitted. Our teacher had permitted, allowed to do. Next, she is. She is coming. Is coming is verb. Will be leaving. Will be leaving is verb. Then, finding the tense form, we have to go to the finite verb. We have to classify your verb, main verb, as a finite and non-finite verb. What is finite? First verb of the sentence is finite because they have tense. They have tense form. So. A verb having tense form is finite, and not having tense form is non-finite. So that Mira did not do her homework. Did finite verb. We are going are finite verb. Did are then will be will each single verb. If single verb is in the sentence, that means. That is the main verb. That is the finite verb. One verb sentences are one. If one verb is there, that means that verb is finite. Has finished. Has finite. Finished. Non-finite. Obey. Single verb is here. So that obey has finite verb. Obey is finite verb. Will arrive. Will is finite verb. Arrive is non-finite verb. Hard permitted. Hard auxiliary verb. That is. This is finite verb. Permitted non-finite verb. Is coming. Is finite coming non-finite because first verb has tense form. 
If we change the sentence, she is coming, she was coming, we cannot change that verb because it has no tense form. If we change the sentence, we are going, we were going. There will be, there would be. We cannot change the second verb. We can change, we have to change the first verb, changing the tense form of a sentence. So that we have to here notice that in which time and tense the sentences are. Mira did not do. Did has past tense. The tense is a verb form. We should not look at the sentence while choosing or collecting the tense forms. We have to go through the verb forms. Did has did do the second form of do did so that this is past tense. In number one. Past tense, he did not do her homework. Past simple, so that, that is past time. Past tense, past time. Sentence is, Mira did not do her homework. Mira did not do her homework. So that sentence is past time. Did has past tense. Past tense, past time. Then in second one, in the second sentence, we are going on a picnic tomorrow. At are has present tense. So this is present tense. Tomorrow. Tomorrow is future time. Present tense, future time. Are going. We are going on a picnic tomorrow. Are going has no tense form. Are has tense form. Present tense, tomorrow has future time. The activity will be done in future. So that that is the futurist point. So, your present tense, future time, the second one. Then the third one, there will be a lot of fun. Will, the second form, would. So, that will has present tense, there will be a lot of fun. The sentence is, the sense of the pen, the sense of the sentence is dealing with or referring to the future time. So, the time is future, tense is present. Will has present tense, time. Time is future. In fourth one, tomorrow is Sunday. Tomorrow, future time. Each present tense. Verb has tense form. Sentence has no tense form. He has finished. Has, has, has present tense. Has finished. The work is completed. If the work is completed, that is past time, past time, past time has present tense finished past time. We always obey our teachers. Obey single verb is there. Obey present simple so that that is present tense. And present time also. Regular actions, habitual actions, they are the present tense, present time. Seven one, seven number. Time will arrive here soon. Will, will has present tense. Soon, Tina, Tina will arrive here soon. The time has not come yet. Time will come. So that will has present tense sentence as future time present tense future time our teacher had permitted to do had had past tense had permitted to do that that is before now the sent, the action of the sentence is in before now so that past tense past time she is also coming with us she will also come in. Will she is each present tense? The time is not come. The time has not come yet. She will come in with us. So that, that is future time. Present tense, future time. Last one. We will we will be living. Will finite verb be non-finite verb? Living non-finite verb. First verb is finite verb. It has tense form. So that present tense. Tomorrow, future time. So if we look here, we are 
we have finalized that if we notice the first verb of a verb group in a sentence that means we can find the tense of the sentence sentence has no tense form verb has only verb in a sentence as a tense form and if we look at the sentence that means we can find easily find about the time of the sentence whether the work is done now present time before now past time or after now future time thanks now we have noticed what tense is tense is in verb form first of all we have to know in english there are eight parts of speech out of eight parts of speech we have to know what verb is verb is doing what verb is a doing what that is action or state action or state of verb first of all we have to know verb has two types auxiliary verb then second one is main verb auxiliary verbs are two types modal auxiliary primary auxiliary what is auxiliary auxiliary means helping verb suppose i will write will go to form the main verb who helps auxiliary verb helps that means that is future tense present tense future time so will go has have done auxiliary verb means helping verb to form the main verb what are the forms of a verb b1 b2 b3 b4 b5 these are the b1 go b2 went b3 gone b4 going b5 goes five forms of the verbs are presented here so that to form the verb main verb of a sentence or a verb group the verb which helps is called as a helps is known as a auxiliary verb or helping verb there are two types modal auxiliaries primary auxiliaries modal auxiliaries pure modals this is pure modals second these are the semi modals these are the semi modals because pure modals has both present tense past tense present tense past tense but semi modals some have no past form and use to has no present form these have no past form use to have no present form so that they are the semi modals both shall will may can these are both present and past form so that they are the pure modals primary auxiliaries there are three types of primary auxiliary be verb have verb next do verb who are the be verbs am is are was were be been been after be verb we put ing form ing form of the verb that means we can write be verb plus v4 be verb plus v4 is eating is eating are doing were climbing these are the examples be being been are used in passive form not needed in the simple sentences then second one is have verb have has has after have verb there must be v3 in simple sentence have done has thrown had told tell told told after have we can put v3 of the form and after do we can put v1 only do write do not write those speak did did come did not come doesn't speak so we have to here notice that what are primary verbs primary auxiliaries be form have a do form modal auxiliaries has pure modals and semi modals what is the difference between primary modals and the second primary auxiliary and modal auxiliaries 
if i write he is a doctor that means the primary verb b verb is is main verb in the sentence but if i write he will be a doctor that means will is auxiliary verb is is main verb if i omit the word he omit the word be that means he will a doctor on sense the sentence it has no sense form so that this is not a sentence so that modal such limitations they cannot stand they never stand in a sentence as a main verb but primary auxiliary is i have a pen i have a pen so that have is main verb your have is auxiliary verb have is main verb he does his work he does his work he does his work does his singular verb of the sentence that is main verb auxiliary verb in verb group verb chart and in sentence that is the main verb so that here we notice that an auxiliary verb can stand auxiliary verb in a main in a sentence forming or uh, forming the main verb in a sentence or it is it stands as a main verb in a sentence but modals verb has a limitation it stands in a sentence only as a, an auxiliary verb helping verb it cannot be main verb. so what are main verb action sense state play study read write if we go through some activities if we go through some activities suppose i will write is doing have gone bhitri has told will be one speak this exercise will be done in the very next moment we have to here notice that you have to collect some more than 20 books then you write v1 v2 v3 v4 v5 at least 20 books suppose i write eat at eaten v4 eating v5 eats you will collect at least 20 verbs in a sentence and write manamatra